Before I call the Deputy Prime Minister to make his statement, I have to say to him and to the Government I am extremely disappointed that once again an important Government policy has been presented to the media before this House. Why the BBC and Sky News is more important, I will never know. That is simply, and I will say again, that is simply not acceptable. One thing which did not change in the recently revised Ministerial Code was the important statement. When Parliament is in session, the most important announcements of Government policy should be made in the first instance in Parliament. But yet again, the media have been the first to know. I am glad that the Minister is making the statement, but he should have done that before speaking to the media. I would certainly have granted an urgent question, and I have got to say thank Mr Bone putting one in just in case, had the statement not been forthcoming. And the Government should be aware that I will always do this in similar circumstances. And I've got to say, I nearly granted both, and I don't want to be put in that position again. So please, respect this House, respect members of every political party. They're elected to hear it here, not via the news. Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, thank you. And uh, I, of course, heed his advice as ever. We uh, strived uh, to make sure that we uh, only kept within the, the trammels of what had gone out in the consultation document, but I heed his advice as ever.